America's red line has been crossed. These images from a hospital in Aleppo claim to show the aftermath of a government chemical weapon attack. U.S. intelligence now confirms that chemical attacks have taken place. In a statement, the White House said the Assad regime has used chemical weapons, including the nerve agent sarin, on a small scale against the opposition multiple times in the last year. Intelligence estimates that 100 to 150 people have died from detective chemical weapon attacks in Syria to date. <laughs> They said their independent verification of this would be a game changer, but the new rules have yet to be written. The U.S. has only said it will offer military support. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Republican Senator John McCain is clear on what form that should take. The lot at stake here. I hope the president will go to a no-fly zone and give these people the weapons which which they defend themselves as Russian arms and Iranian arms pour into the country on the side of Bashar Assad. My friends, it's not a fair fight. The White House has yet to be explicit on what they'll do, but so far no attempt has been made to shy away from what President Obama had to say on the issue last year. We cannot have a situation where chemical or biological weapons are falling into the hands of the wrong people. Uh, we have been very clear to the Assad regime, but also to other players on the ground that a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. Uh, that would change my calculus. That would change my equation. As the violence in Syria rages on, the U.S. says it will make decisions on its own timetable and look at international options at the upcoming G8 summit. The UN says its latest figure of 93,000 deaths in Syria is probably conservative. America faces a tough balancing act. The calls for action are louder than ever. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Washington.